Hey guys, so as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing a money piece. And I did put out a poll on my YouTube channel to see what people wanted to see. And right now, because I posted this 10 minutes ago, everyone's voting for the other two options. I'm so surprised. And I didn't say in the poll that I was going to do it myself. But I am going to do this myself. I was thinking as a backup plan. I'm going to cut it and dye it black. That's why I put that in the options. So that might happen. I have all the essentials. I watched Brad Mondo's tutorial and he had a bunch of products to get. And then I watched Kenra Professional. I'm going to be following her tutorial for the application because his was more like blocky, like fully bleached. And she actually uses the tip of this comb to go and weave in and out, which I've never done. So this might be a disaster, but I think it's going to be super fun. Welcome to my laboratory. We have the Blonde Me Bleach Powder, this 40 volume developer. I got the Wella T14 toner just to get out some of the yellow gloves a bowl, a brush to apply the bleach, a comb with this thing, whatever that's called, something to measure everything out, a whisk, some clips, and some foils. Okay, so I'm just gonna split part my hair in the middle, brush it out a bit. I'm not good at this, I don't know why when I part it and then I take a picture it looks completely off-center. Does that, does that look centered to you? Let me take a picture because that's the only way for me to tell. Okay. How's that? Yeah, it's in the middle in the picture. So weird. Okay, I'm gonna be mixing it up. I'm gonna do one part of the powder and two parts of the developer. Okay, so I'm going to brush out the side. She said it's going to naturally part somewhere if I zhuzh it up. Is it naturally parting? I don't see anything happening. Where? Here? Hers looks different than mine. I'm just gonna go like this. She has a more of a triangle. Like this. There. Perfect. That's what I like. Okay, good thing I redid it. So this is gonna be my money piece. And then she does a few on the side here. So I'm gonna do this little ziggy zag thing that she did. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Maybe it's because I don't have the metal one. That doesn't work. I'm gonna do this, and these are gonna be the hairs. Hopefully, that's good. 
Okay. First one. <laughs> and I grab it out of there. Really burning. There. Okay. Next. Done with the sides. That was very difficult. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like for the front. Okay. And breathe a bit. Okay, we gotta weave it out. That's too thick, it seems. I can't really see, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm going to do that again. So I put in the last foil, I had to tease the top and then I actually had a lot of hair left because I didn't want to do one more of those. Um, I started how long ago? I started so long ago, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should take out the sides. I'm going to check on it and see because I'm worried. I also feel some burning in my forehead so it's a bit scary. See what this looks like? You can see it! You can see it right there! Maybe I should take it out. Like just the sides. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna take out the sides and then, yeah. I don't even know what to do. Holy sh that's light. Oh my god. some patchiness. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I need like a, a towel or something. Looks a little bit darker. what it looks like. I think I got a lot of lift. It's so much lighter than my natural hair. My forehead is burning. Maybe I'll rinse the forehead. I took some more out and I also, when I was taking it out, it touched my skin. But yeah, I think a few more minutes and this top bar will be ready. Help! 
I'm waiting for the last piece to develop. It's still a little... I don't know, that looks pretty light. But I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. And then I'll shower. I need to clean off all the parts that touch my skin. Ouch. I think it looks so good. And I didn't even tone it yet. It's so light. I do have a few darker spots, but I think it'll be nice to have like different shades. It will be just like one blocky color. I'm gonna mix the toner. It says to use 20 volume, but I didn't get that, so I'm gonna use my 40. Hopefully that's okay. It says one part to two. I just took a shower, shampooed, conditioned, then I redid my makeup, but I'm toning the hair, so I'm gonna have to wash my hair again and ruin my makeup. What the heck? You know what I'm reminding myself of? Miley Cyrus, or is it her mom had like hair like this? So I'll brush this up. Okay, so here's the color without the toner. Yeah? It's my little tripod. I'm gonna tone my hair. Look at it. Why are you doing it? Take that cap. Wow, did it ever change colors? Oh, really? Yeah. You did a good job. And I still have to tone it. Wow. You look amazing. Thanks. That looks so good. I know it does. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. Then you can do jeans. <laughs> Oh my god, that smells it's really strong. Whew. Oh, I don't think the 40 developer is the way. That's like pure chemical. Oops, one on my toe again. Hurts. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes. I rinsed out the toner. I'm gonna get ready, so let's do a cool transition. Here's how it's looking the next day. Give you guys a little look. So this part here is very abrupt. Like you can see that dark to light transition. I think that's like one of the major mistakes because I could have done better. Especially the way that this top part turned out looks really good and more blended out, as you can see. Usually I part it on the side, so let's do that right now. It's probably how I'm going to wear it down most of the time. I kind of like how this one is more face framing and I think if I had followed a bit of Brad Mondo's tutorial he had kind of like sectioned it so that it starts here and then goes underneath. And if we take some of my hair here just to give the effect that I'm thinking might look good this. Just hide some of the blonde. I feel like this would have been perfect. I would just highlight my face a little. But I'm happy with what it looks like. It's pretty fun. I can also like put it all the way to this side and it looks super blonde. Also, when I bought my Ray-Bans, this is super random, I had blonde hair and I thought the gold frames looked best with the blonde. It does. 
I put in a few loose curls just so you guys could see the effect. I will be editing this video and posting it later today. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely will cut it and dye it black like you guys voted in the community post. So that will happen. I don't know when because I'm kind of liking this. It's very rock star esque. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.